Addition Word Problems Hey Starry, why are you angry with me? I know we have been doing a lot of addition examples, but Starry, doing addition is very useful in everyday life. Okay, then I will explain it to you. Look here, this is the bill we got from the shop yesterday. Let us read out the cost of items we purchased. The cost of the water bottle is rupees 90. We bought 6 notebooks worth rupees 60. Now tell me Starry, what is written at the end of the bill? Yes, it is written that the total amount is rupees 150. So what have they done? Yes, the shopkeeper has added both the amounts together to get the total. So Starry, whenever we have to find the total quantity or number of items all together, we have to do addition. Ok Starry, are you now ready to solve a few word problems? Let us read the first problem. Rosie's mother bought 15 chocolates and 50 toffees for her birthday. How many sweets did she buy in all? Starry, whenever you read a problem, first write down what is given. Can you tell me in the given problem what information is given? Yes, it is given that Rosie's mother bought 15 chocolates and 50 toffees for her birthday. The next step is to write what we have to find out. Hmm, here we have to find out the total number of sweets. So Starry, which operation should we carry out? Yes, we shall do addition of 15 and 50. On adding units, we get 5 units and 0 units equals 5 units. 1 ten and 5 tens equals 6 tens. So Starry, Rosie's mother bought 65 sweets for her birthday. Ok Starry, let us solve the next example. A fruit seller has 65 mangoes, 36 bananas and 24 oranges in his cart. How many fruits does he have in all? What is given here Starry? Yes, it is given that the fruit seller has 65 mangoes, 36 bananas and 24 oranges. What do we have to find? Yes, we have to find the total number of fruits. So what should we do? We shall add all the number of fruits. So let's add 65 plus 36 plus 24. On adding digits in the units place, we get 5 plus 6 plus 4 equals 15 units. Carrying 110 to tens column, let's add the digits in the tens place. 6 tens 
plus three tens plus two tens plus one equals twelve tens. So starry, the fruit seller has one hundred and twenty five fruits. Here's the next example. In a school, there were 42 children in standard 2nd A and 37 children in standard 2nd B. Hence, find out the total number of children in both the classes. Starry, can you tell me what information is given here? Yes, it is given that there are 42 children in 2nd A and 37 children in 2nd B. We have to find the total number of children in class 2. Okay, then let's add 42 and 37. 2 units plus 7 units is 9 units. 4 tens plus 3 tens is 7 tens. We get the answer 79. So Starry, there were a total of 79 children in 2nd standard in the school. Hey Starry, the next example is very easy. Come on, let's solve it. Ruhi has 19 storybooks and her friend Tanya has 26 storybooks. What is the total number of storybooks with them? Yes Starry, number of storybooks with Ruhi is 19. And the number of storybooks with Tanya is 26. To find the total number of storybooks with them, we shall add 19 and 26. On adding 9 units and 6 units, we get 15 units. Carry over 1 to 10's place. Now let's add two tens, one ten and one ten. It gives four tens. So the total number of storybooks with Ruhi and Tanya is 45. Here's the last example. Let's read it first. Karishma and her brother Sunil bought new clothes. Karishma's dress cost rupees 575 and Sunil's shirt cost him rupees 210. How much money did they spend in all? What's given? The cost of Karishma's dress and the cost of Sunil's shirt. What do we have to find? We have to find the total amount they have spent. So Starry, can you do the addition? Yes, it's simple. We have to arrange the three digit numbers in proper columns. Now start adding the units place digits. 5 units plus 0 unit equals 5 units. 7 tens plus 1 ten is equal to 8 tens. And finally, 
five hundreds plus two hundreds is equal to seven hundreds. So, Karishma and Sunil spent seven hundred and eighty-five rupees in all. Did you understand, Starry? How addition is useful to us in everyday life?